hallelujah to jesus we give god a praise let god be magnified forever in the name of jesus christ amen hallelujah glory to jesus this is god's own channel with evan delicera you are welcome the lord bless you the lord bless every member of this household it is well with you jesus love you and i love you please family like this video share subscribe Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. You know, the Bible says that we should not envy the riches of the wicked. To you that is hearing me right now, thank God for you. Because when I hear this message, all I could say is thank God for you that you are not the type that other people's things enter their eyes. You know, I don't know how to put it. Somebody that will see another person's prosperity, you are like, ah, look at this, you know. We admire good things, you know. We appreciate good things. We celebrate beautiful things. But uh, when it is not from the right source, when it is not from the Lord, we don't even look at it because we understand that all of that, they are just vanity. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Lord has given you, child of God, a peaceful life, you know. When I mean a peaceful life, every blessing that the Lord has given to you, they come with no price sacrifice, no satanic sacrifice attached to it. Hallelujah. So you being peaceful with what God has given to you, it is frustrating your enemy. To this person, don't be shocked when many people feel frustrated towards you. You know, you are like, not that you have everything that they themselves have. But yet, when it comes to your situation, you can see how frustrated they feel. You can see the frustration in their attitude, in their eyes, in their ways. You know, it's just like somebody that have a very big car, you know, a very big car, expensive car, you know. And he saw someone who is driving a bicycle. And that is the only uh, a moving, what is it called, motor something. That, that person has not that the person has extra but that is the only thing that he or she has maybe the, the bicycle the bicycle that will help him or her to get to his place of job and to his play or to his place of wherever he or she is going but you see someone who is riding a very big car a very mighty car and all of that saw somebody like that and is hitting on the person you know why because if what that person had get, gotten that person that is driving a big car if that car did not come from god if that blessing did not come from God, when they see somebody who is enjoying his or her blessing, no matter how little it is, and the blessing comes from God, it frustrates them. How can you be driving a bicycle and be at peace? And he or, he or she is driving a big car, but yet is not at peace. You know, though they come out publicly to act as if all is well with them, all is not well with them. I thank God, child of God, for the kind of person that the Lord is making you into hallelujah god is building you into a very you know a very very a very uh, i don't know how to put it someone who no longer who don't really care about what other people acquire through true bad things you know true satan we are living in a world where souls are being sold in exchange for for vanity that is the world that we are living in Yes, that is the world that we are living in. And many people, they are falling into it. They are like, okay, hell is on this earth. Heaven is on this earth. No, heaven is not on this earth. Hell is not on this earth. That is not what the Bible told us. Some persons are like, oh, anyone that suffers here on earth is the one that is in hell. So anyone that has private jail, that is enjoying life, that have a lot of money, is the one that is, uh, that is in heaven. There is no life after here we don't have to follow all those things because the bible says it said after life after this earth there is life after death hallelujah life after death there is hell there is heaven so if god blesses us with big big things as i said god is not against people being blessed or having beautiful and mighty mighty things in life mighty houses mighty words mighty cars mighty all of that you know all the mighty vanity God is not against people having it, but having it in the right way is God want is it is what God wants for us. When you have it in the right way, you will see that it will come with peace. 
no matter how many that would think that oh maybe is a fraud maybe there is something you did wrong you will see that that which god has given will last long the blessings of god stays very very long it stays very very long so child of god you don't have to mind those who come outside to fake it publicly who come outside to fake it publicly hallelujah but deep down deep down inside of them they are not happy but they hate you they hate to see you being happy how are you still how are you so satisfied with whatever you have how are you still praising the lord with whatever you have despite everything that they have there is no peace the bible says no peace for the wicked so it is not you that took their peace away so if they are hating on you they should find god not you are not responsible you know you are not responsible for the calamity that before an enemy when we talk about an enemy we talk about an enemy of god anyone who have who god have showed himself to and refuse to accept god and i said no i will not serve god is demon i want to serve that person have been an enemy of god because whosoever is in darkness is an enemy of light so it is not that it is you that is making them your enemy or no when we talk about enemy anything that opposes god is an enemy of god and whatever is an enemy of god becomes your enemy because you are god's child hallelujah you are not a friend to demon you are not a friend to devil you are not a friend to satan you are a friend of god right when you study your bible you will understand that you are a friend of God, you are a child of God, you are a servant of God, you know, you are a choosing of God. So you will see that every attribute that, that, that go with being a child of God, it is what you are called. If children of God, if children of God are called the choosing ones, you are choosing. If children of God are called the sons of God, the daughters of God, if they are called anything that, that, that is related to God, you are included. So when it comes to the other way, that is how it is. Oh, the sons of demons, sons of darkness, uh, daughters of darkness, and all of that. So it is two worlds against each other. So it is not you. You know, when we talk about enemy, enemy, people are like, ah, pray for the enemy to repent. The enemy of Christ is something that they will not repent unless they encounter God. Saul was an enemy of Christ. It was an enemy of the people of God. It was an enemy of light. So apart from physical enemy, in the spiritual aspect of it, so also it is. If a witch is an enemy of the church, you are a member of the church also, a body of the church also. So a witch is also become your enemy. That is how it is, you know. <clears throat> because if they make God your enemy, they make the follower of God their enemy. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to Jesus. So all of these that are faking pub coming out to fake life publicly, don't get carried away by them, child of God. You know, despite all their public display of whatever they think they have gotten from Satan, the truth is that the Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man. It says, but the end thereof is death. So there is a way, there is a place they are heading to. And that place where they are heading to, it is a place of death. It is a place that you don't even want to think about going at all. Because there is nothing on this earth that worth losing so far. That is something I keep telling myself. God, please show me mercy. I might not be perfect in what I do, but may I not lose my soul. Because what is the point? That after all said and done, that someone will not lose, will not lose his or her soul. Hallelujah. You are not heading to where they are heading. That is why they fake it publicly to attract you, but you refuse to be attracted. The next thing they start hating on you. you they want to attract you publicly. They want to make sure they capture you. But when you don't give attention to these things that they want you to give attention to, you become the center of hatred for them. Why? Well, because they are an enemy of light. They want so many people in darkness. The devil wants as many as possible in darkness. So if you are not in darkness, there is no way that you will be celebrated by those in darkness. Child of God, underline my statement. If you are not in darkness, don't expect those that are in darkness to come and celebrate your light. It is very, very important. 
for you to know this because they will want everything possible for you to live their light and come to the dark. The Bible says, say, light has come. He said, but men have chosen darkness over light. They have chosen that darkness over light. You need to understand this. But I pray for you that your strength will not fail you. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.